game out of it. But now we're going to see Josh, we're going to see Brody go back against EG in the rematch here. And again, Pikachu versus Falcon. Yeah, and it's their third set this tournament. So these, these two players, I'm sure they're very aware of what each other is going to be looking for now. Yeah, and, and maybe getting uh, Brody getting a little warm up there from CTG. Maybe EG not liking that so much. Yeah, a little bit cold uh, going into losers finals. But still uh, taking his time, making sure not to rush it. Catches a short hop there. Can't get quite anything off of it off uh, the grab, but um, ooh, no, great grab from Brody. Ooh, just a little too low after that up air to recover. But Brody's got to be careful here because if he is hit in neutral by EG, we're not going to see the same flubs. Uh, EG is, this is his character, and he's, oh, there's that down air. <laughs> we saw it so many times before. So you won't see these mess ups from EG. You'll see him consistent play. And a bit of a mistake there. No way he meant to back throw, um, but still maintaining neutral. Of course, when I said he won't mess up, he back throws at <laughs> low percentage against Pikachu. <laughs> and Brody now with a pretty decisive lead here, but of course it's very easy to zero to death Pikachu as Falcon, so interesting. He gets that shield uh, shield pressure and goes for the uh, up B. Yeah, something that uh, definitely we expect to see more at higher percents. Oh, and a uh, great angle there from EG. Yeah, to get underneath that was very nice. And Maybe a little too happy with that uh, up B right now. Agreed, um, yeah. Oh, a <laughs> stage a, spike. From a Nair. Yeah, a quick runoff rising Nair. Brody really wants to close this out. He wants to get game one under his belt. He does not want to lose again to EG. He wants a shot at Boom. Getting game one would help him a lot to getting there. This is a, not going to be a good edge hog. Yeah, and uh, EG uh, may be rushing a little too much with those dashes. Uh, I think we saw Brody grab him out of that um, at least three times in that matchup. Uh, and Brody's Brody, one of the best uh, Falcon grabbers as Pikachu. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, as specific at the, as that sounds, like, I agree 100%, you know? <laughs> yeah, as oddly <laughs> specific and weird as that sounds. But it's so important to the matchup, right? Yes, it is. Because uh, a lot of people, like, I try to do it, and I always get grabbed. And I don't know how he does it. In fact, if we get to interview him, I want to talk about that with him. So just need to know the trick, the secret. Yeah. How are we going to word that? So as a falcon grabber, how do you feel? <laughs> yeah. Do you know, are you aware that you're the best falcon grabber? <laughs> oh, it sounds terrible. My phrasing is just horrible. Um, <laughs> oh, and an up smash. He doesn't get punished for it. Yeah, Ur EG uh, a little s seems to be taking things a little slower. It's going to have to turn these uh, hits into kills. Doesn't get a double jump there and just sort of falls away. Yeah, just a little bit of flubs here, despite maybe uh, the right options. That should connect. It's always scary as Pikachu when you're, I mean, you want to keep Falcon off the stage and keep keep him on the edge and a great double, double Nair, second one rising. But you have to be very careful at a Falcon who's planking on the, on the ledge because there's a lot of options that he has getting up. Yeah, um, if he can slip in, you know, like a double jump up air, that could be very bad news for Pikachu. And even off the standard get ups, like, uh, you know, you get those kind of up smash and uh, of grab wars. Yeah. I liked what we saw from EG there, uh, knowing that Brody was in pressure and shield, uh, and he pushed him out with that forward air to a slick conversion. Not quite a kill, but um, decent percentage. Oh, that was so nice. Now, interesting choice for Brody to, to wait on a tech on the platform and down tilt. Uh, very, very interesting and, and uh, unique there, but he's able to follow it up but this time. Missing his double jump and SDing, and that'll help EG a bunch. Yeah, he. I think he needed something like that to get back in this game, and uh, he's not going to want to go down um, two stocks as well, or two games. Yeah, and now he's right in it, though. Last yeah, stock. Gave him a new lease on life and what could have been a, a game-ending edge guard from Brody, and now another grab. Oh, and a reverse back air. Was it intentional? I think it might have been, but maybe ill-advised. 
Great DI, but it won't be enough. And Brody yeah, just grab ledge, yeah. Yeah, that's all he had to do is edge hog there. And Brody up two games to none. And he's one game away, if he can win, from getting a shot at Super Boom Fan. And there we see EG again, just taking a moment, uh, sort of coaching himself, making sure he can kind of just go over maybe what he went what went wrong that match. Uh, he looked a lot better that game two. Um, maybe had a little bit too much extra life after Brody failed that edge guard. Um, but uh, hopefully he can carry that momentum into game three. Yeah, we've seen him, you know, take this a set versus Brody, so we know he's certainly capable of it. Um, A nice simple conversion. Yeah, very safe and But we saw in that previous set uh he was opting for down air when uh he knew the up B wouldn't quite kill. Yeah, so that is a difference there. He's maybe playing a little too safe here, right? I I'm, I'm not sure. Cause Brody's recoveries are very good. He's he can find that that sweet spot from a lot of places. Yeah, and I think he's uh just hyper aware of uh where the opponent wants to cover as well. Yeah. Oh, great down tilt, just uh, sliding right under that forward air. And that was really nice as well. He Oh, again, no fear from the Falcon Punch. He tried a down tilt again, and instead of putting out a second down tilt, he ran in and got a grab on Falcon to get that edge guard. Oh, man, Brody looking like he's able to get these grabs. Yeah, just at his <laughs> absolutely leisure. no fear. Oh, and a great uh, cross up there with that down air. Not going to get much out off of it with that low percent. It's like a bit of an escape, too, you know, shield hop down air. Yeah, especially when Brody wants to, like, uh, switch up and go under you. Oh, and he lands in the top flat and <laughs> gets that conversion, making it an even game. So can EG get himself on the board here? Two stocks. Let's see if we can get a zero to... Oh, and another goes for that reverse back air again. Yeah, he might pay for it this time, too. Yeah, I'd like to see him convert a grab at zero percentage to a stock, you know, at his level. You expect him to do that. Yeah, maybe a little bit of nerves here. Yeah, absolutely. The tournament nerves are real, and we all, we all know them. Good DI saves him here. Yeah, EG does have a chance here, but again, Josh Brody, the best Falcon grabber. Yeah, and I think EG got a little too aggressive.